Welcome back, wonderful people. A new Call of Duty Modern Warfare update is dropping this week and gamers are getting a lot of exciting new content for Season 5 in Warzone. An especially interesting update is going to be in regards of the easter egg that we are all waiting for. Before we start today's topic, I really need to thank you all for your kind support. We are officially on the road to 2k subscribers. At the moment, the channel has 1,900 subscribers, but considering the fact that daily average growth of the channel is in between 50 and 100 subscribers a day, we will have the magical 2,000 subscribers in a no time. So once again, thank you all. 2,000 subscribers for this channel is like a dream come true, and these numbers would not be possible if there wasn't your engagements and your suggestions for the future content. So new update is only a couple hours away and the most important thing and I would say most exciting thing that's going to happen is on the 26th of August, which is Wednesday, where we are going to have a final reveal of the next Call of Duty title, which is called Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. The interesting thing that reveal of the new Call of Duty game is going to happen in game in Warzone or if you like in Verdansk so basically probably we are up to a very interesting real live event that's going to happen in a Warzone map which actually means that the reveal will be connected to the easter egg hunting so we will have a huge easter egg update as well what's that going to be at this moment nobody knows but definitely there is something big coming to Verdansk. There is a lot of speculation what might happen on the 26th in Verdansk, but my uh, prediction is that we will finally get an access to the ba second bunker doors in the bunkers that are accessible with red access key cards and bunker 11 which is the most interesting bunker that we have in Verdansk. Also, we should not ignore the latest three bunkers that has been opened just recently while we were resolving the big cipher riddle easter egg. And yes, I'm talking about bunker number one, bunker number three and most importantly bunker number ten which is basically hiding a big rocket beneath the monument in a war zone park. So community is also speculating that we might have some kind of a rocket launch or some kind of a event that will culminate in a rocket launch. Nobody knows anything about it. Developers haven't confirmed anything about that yet. But considering that this update is going to be a big one, we might be up to a big surprise tomorrow. Now let's talk about the new weapons that are coming with this update and the first one would be the Finn LMG. The heaviest primary weapon class in the game has a new challenger, the Finn LMG, and it will punch well above its weight against many of the existing LMGs. The new LMG can be earned by completing an in-game challenge or a blueprint variant can be acquired by purchasing the mainframe bundle. An agile, mobile and hostile tank of an LMG, the Finn Ultra Light and Open Bolt design is uniquely paired with advanced recoil controls. This all adds up to a weapon with exceptional full auto accuracy while still being lightweight, allowing for a unique playstyle that further blurs the line between assault rifle and LMGs. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to this one because LMGs would be my choice for any battleground that I'm attending. Doesn't matter is it a multiplayer or is it a warzone plunder, whatever mode I play. Because I like to play with the weapons of high calibers and considering the fact that Bruin is nerfed at the moment and that PKM is the only and now officially the most strongest LMG, the new addition is a must and I'm really looking forward to see how the new LMG is going to work out. Also we have announcement of the new game mode which is called Kingslayer. Kingslayer is a large-scale team deathmatch on Battle Royale where teams fight to earn points by defeating hostile players. However, the circle doesn't collapse, rather it moves around the map for an agile battle on the go. The top 5 teams top scoring players will be marked as a king on the tag map. Eliminate kings to get additional points and be awarded a free killstreak. 
Now this game mode is going to be also a very interesting one because, let's be honest, um, Warzone Battle Royale at the current state where you have the collapsing uh, smoke is a little bit, I would say, obsolete. I'm not saying it's a bad one, but it's getting obsolete because there is a lot of gamers that basically know the map by heart and it's quite challenging fighting those guys. And I'm not complaining about anybody's gameplay or anything like that, but the things are getting more and more, I would say, uninterested. And this mode would bring a so much needed life into the war zone. So honestly speaking, I'm really looking forward to see how the new game mode will work out because definitely by the sound of it we are going to have a new epic mode that could even outplay the standard and classical battle royale in Warzone. Also, we are getting a new operator in the game which is called Sergio Mortesola. Um, a skill tracker who loves the old vest and strongly adheres to his own rules regarding right and wrong. Served with the legendary Call Mosking Paratrooper Regiment in Italy before being selected to join Warcom. That's so far what's, what's been known about this operator. There is no official biography and his backstory, but hopefully we will get some inner information that the, when the tr um, operator officially comes into the game and honestly speaking I'm really happy for the Italian uh, Call of Duty community because they really deserve another operator in the game. Honestly speaking I was expecting to see a Spanish military simulation or some kind of a um, some kind of a operator that will be related to Spain because Spanish community Call of Duty community is quite big and the community really deserves their own military uh, simulation operator or an operator that will be dedicated to Spain. But no matter, any operators that's coming to Warzone is absolutely more than welcome and we are looking forward to get even more epic operators in the future. So the new update, as you can see from the information I presented, is going to be massive and uh, I would say very exciting. I'm really looking forward to see what's going to happen on the 26th in Verdansk in regards of the final reveal of the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which is the new Call of Duty title coming this winter probably. Also, we need to remind ourselves that this week we would probably have a new set of Ghost Intel missions. We are already waiting a third week for the new one. Previously, we had a pattern that we get a new missions every two weeks on the second week, but basically we are now into third week and we didn't get the new Ghost Intel missions. So, probably what's going to happen is that all of this reveal of Black Ops Cold War and the bunkers are going to be tied up with the new uh, Ghost Intel missions as well. So, there will be a lot of excitements by the end of this week in Warzone and I'm really looking forward to see how things are going to wrap up. So, my fellow Verdansk citizens, that would be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this small presentation about the update that's coming in the next couple of hours. If you liked the video, please press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed so far for our channel, make sure to do so because you will get a further great Call of Duty content. Until next time, I wish you all the best and stay frosty.